that right there is the best part about wrapping presents. Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Good morning everybody Another day that Sam didn't take her makeup off before bed Great work It's Christmas Eve I don't know how that happened I don't know how It's already Vlogmas Day 24 Are you ready to have some fun? Are we gonna have the most festive day do you want to play in the snow do you want to go play with the coke outside somebody spread coke all over everything last night duncan i'm dreaming of a white christmas is that our christmas song of the day i feel like you deserve a christmas carol this morning because no it's not christmas eve when you're watching this it's Christmas Eve. But today is Christmas Eve. Okay, so all my fucking rolls. Please just throw the toy. It's the 23rd. Do I save my Christmas carol for tomorrow then? No, no, no. I'm not gonna tease you and not give you a Christmas carol. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Faithful friends who are dear to us. Highest You want something a little more spunky? Say less. A 54 convertible to light blue. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I've missed. One little thing I really need. The deed to a platinum mine. <laughs> what were you thinking? Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations only from Tiffany's. Okay, if that didn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day trying to do just that. I'm doing the sweats. You were so excited about it yesterday. Why do you seem so hesitant today? All year long I've been keeping track of when I've been lonely and lying. Throughout the course of last night, our power came on and off 30 times. Honestly, I'm still cold. I'm leaving the earmuffs on. Our power went out for the past like hour. The heat has not been working all night long. I think it just didn't have enough time to kick in in between power outages. And Sam just texted me that the Nashville Electric Service says TVA is having rolling blackouts. To make sure the entire grid doesn't go out. So that's why we just were without power for the past like hour. It's back on though. Hopefully our turn for that is over. To have power for the rest of the day. I'm just hoping everything is cleared up by tonight. That way we can go to all the different Christmas bars. That just sounds so fun and festive. But we're just gonna stay inside as much as possible because it is nipply pipply. So we're gonna have a snow day. Hopefully you like spending time with me. Yesterday I got a package from Amazon and I was a little bit surprised because I'm only expecting like one or two more things to come from Amazon that I ordered. When I saw the size of the box, I said, how did it fit in that box? But you never know. Weirder things have happened. I opened it and sitting inside were these two little bottles. It's Miss Mouth's Messy Eater Stain Treater. I'm not a parent, I don't have a child, but I'm the messiest eater. Anyone that knows me knows that every single time I go out to eat, every single time I put anything in my mouth, it gets all over my shirt. Me making it through a meal without a stain is a blessing. It is a rare occurrence. It isn't something that happens very often. My sister sent me these. I thought that was so funny. I didn't remember ordering them. It had my name on the box. And I said, I really do be shopping at 3 a.m., huh? The problem is worse than I thought. It wasn't me forgetting. 
my sister sent these to me. I don't know if any of you parents out there have tried these before. It even has a little poop on it. I don't say what I'm about to say very often. I'm not in the mood for coffee. I think I've been consuming too much caffeine. I need to listen to you guys. You keep telling me that my anxiety is probably a lot worse because of how much caffeine I've been drinking. So I need to chill on that. I actually wrote down in my New Year's like resolutions, which I kind of hate New Year's resolutions, but I also never have them really. So I'm gonna try to make a genuine realistic list of resolutions this year. And one of them is to drink less caffeine. You guys are very confident that it will help my anxiety, but I am thirsty. <sighs> Romanticizing our diet Dr. Pepper addiction. Do I know what would make this even more extra? I don't know something I've realized. What was I saying? What was my thought that I just had that like I was gonna put into I had something that I was gonna say and it was like a statement. It's gone. I still haven't changed my clothes. I was just working on my computer, getting some stuff done for taxes. <gasps> I just remembered what I was gonna tell you guys earlier. How did that happen? I turned the camera on and I automatically remember. Earlier I was trying to tell you guys that I've realized I have an eye contact problem. Even just now, I went to like look away while I was speaking. I, for some reason, never look people in the eye when I have conversations. Like I'll be talking to Samantha or Andrew or my mom and I'm talking like this, like looking around while having a conversation. I just get so uncomfortable and I don't know why. Maybe we should ask our therapist. Since I've been editing all these videos, I've noticed it when I talk to you guys too. Like I don't look you in the eyeballs, even though your eyeballs are a camera lens right now. But I know there's real eyeballs there. I gotta work on that. Because I promise I'm not trying to do it. For some reason, I'm just really uncomfortable with eye contact. And I think it's something I just need to work on. Me and Samantha are gonna be exchanging gifts later and I haven't wrapped them yet. This is my least favorite thing to do. I hate wrapping presents. I think it's just because I'm not good at it. I don't like not being good at things. I don't know if anyone likes being bad at something, but I don't wanna just give them to her in bags because it just feels like cheating. So I'm gonna attempt to wrap stuff. I can't guarantee you it's gonna look pretty, but I am gonna try. By the time this goes up, she's seen these, so I don't have to try and hide them. I got these boxes. Would this be a separate give, a separate one? I haven't even changed today or taken a shower. I figure we'll get around to it eventually. How cute is this North Face? She has really dark hair. I think with this mauve pink, it's gonna look so good. I thought this hat looked really good with this pink. Aw, are you just sitting? I brought the remote in case I wanted to watch a tutorial. There is hair all over this tape. How long do we think this is gonna take me? Now we take our wrapping paper. I never know quite how much you need. We always used to do this as kids. That right there is the best part about wrapping presents. Okay. Giving people gifts is 100% one of the ways that I show love. I don't know that people understand how important it is to remind the people in your life how important they are and that you love them. You can show that in so many ways. Let them know, hey, I see you, I love you, I appreciate you. They might be struggling and not telling you. Unconditional love is a beautiful thing, but I still think it's important to acknowledge the people who do love you unconditionally and acknowledge the role they play in your life. How much better they make life just by being in it. I know for myself personally, hearing things like that have helped me in really dark moments of my life when I didn't know if I wanted to be here or not. It might seem like something very small, but it can make a huge impact to people in your life. If that's something that you don't do often, or maybe you just know someone in your life that could use some words of affirmation, or even just a small little gift, from the Dollar Tree, this is your sign to do that. I promise you it's gonna mean a lot more than you think. I didn't do this very well. This barely is long enough. After this piece of tape, I'm officially one present done. Looks pretty good.
first annual Christmas bar hop with not only one Samantha Joe, but two! Unfortunate news, that bar was closing and we didn't want to be weenies and ask them to make us a drink just to make them have to stay later. I'm gonna make this clear because I know one of you guys is gonna be a weenie. Also, weenie is my new favorite word. All night, I had one drink and it was a jello shot. The rest of mine were mocktails. I'm a safe driver. Well, the reason this bar was on the list is because of this cup. It's called Chopper. It's like a tiki themed bar, I think. At first I was having a moment where I said, I'm gonna stop spending money. I saw this on TikTok and I spent Vlogmas here in Nashville. I don't have any like souvenirs for it. It's like a tiki frosty. And in my head, I'm like, okay, it doesn't even need to just be a cup. You could put like plants in there. That's ceramic. Yes. Okay. On to the next. Office. Nashville does not treat you well. I lose something every time I leave my house. Oh my god! <laughs> I said, who is she? Who is this bitch? season comes to a close. I'm cold, ear muffless, and out of breath. Can you tell? Can you see it? <laughs> <clears throat> if I thought I had to say, can I have a huge tea? This is really getting me. This is my order. Can I please have a regular hamburger tray with um, a chicken bacon ranch wrap and a corn dog? What do you want in your burger? Ketchup and pickles, please. And then, could I'll, oh, uh, do you guys have Dr. Pepper? Yes. Do you have Diet Dr. Pepper? Only regular. Oh. Um, could I have a large Dr. Pepper? Are you single? Could I have a two hot dog tray with fries and a quesadilla? A, a large Dr. Pepper. Um, yeah. Could I get an a order of fries and some chicken nuggets? Barbecue sauce, please. Oh, okay. Thanks. Just remind me at the window. Bye. 